as I've kind of mentioned before, I think I always knew that I, I wanted to be a teacher and I had passion in mm-hmm. education. Um, but ironically, I think it was those last few kind of moments before the HSC, um, when we were putting in our UAC preferences, when I started having the most doubts about becoming a teacher, I think, especially because I was getting older, I was kind of becoming more aware of, um, you know, like societal expectations and financial prospects and um, things like that, where, which I'd never had to notice before when I was eight years old and going, I want to be a teacher. Mm, like yeah, that yeah. never had to cross my mind. And I think um, especially, you know, growing up in a middle-class Chinese first-generation Im- like immigrant family um I kind of felt like I owed it to myself to pursue the grandest occupation I could um kind of in the in the sense of you know the typical doctor doctor, lawyer engineer kind of kind of vibe right um and I I think I had a lot of adults around me telling me um like or why are you settling for teaching when you could pursue something better or like make a better life for yourself? Um, things like that. And mm-hmm. I think um, that kind of mindset did kind of take over for me for a little while. And I was starting to really look into um, engineering because I thought, okay, I like maths. What else can I do with that? Maybe yeah. engineering. Um, And I seriously looked into it for a very long time. And I even got sponsored by the school to go on this um, women in engineering camp for a week in the holidays. Um, And I was almost going to choose it. It was on my UIC preferences. But then I kind of realized, you know what? I don't know what an engineer does. All I know is that people think that it's prestigious and that Mm. I might make more money in that role than I would as a teacher but ultimately I think my heart has always been set on teaching and on education Um, Mm. and ultimately that's kind of what I went for.